Uh, first time. It's yeah. first time. First time for yes. Both of you? Yes. First time we play here in Jakarta, in the story, yeah. and we never uh, seen so much full arena. Oh. And uh, uh, it's really amazing to play in so many people who yeah. like badminton and yeah. support. And you feel uh, yourself oh like yes. hero, heroes. So <laughs> <laughs> it's really amazing and. Uh, very thankful for this amazing atmosphere here in Jakarta. So you guys happy playing in here? Are you happy? Yes, of course, of course, <laughs> it's happy. Uh, I think that every badminton player dream to play here in uh, Jakarta in this arena. And for us, it's a huge experience to play here the uh, first time. We really uh, like it. No wider to so we are happy uh, just to be there and to play a uh, 1000 tournament uh, so for us it's a, uh, I think the next step is to think about to win uh, matches in this kind of tournament but now we are really happy that we just play there and feel the atmosphere on court Malaysia, Malaysia Super Series. We will stay in Malaysia for one week. We will uh, participate in Malaysia Super Series also. Are you guys the only Ukrainian participant? Yes, yes, yes. only the Ukrainian. Uh, pardon me for asking, but uh, did you guys uh, train in your country or did you train? Uh, in we left our country since the war in March because we, it's, uh, we, we live in Kharkiv. Kharkiv city is close to Russia. It just we has a border. Like 30 kilometers. Yeah, yeah. So our city is still uh, under bombing. Uh, still uh, the war going on. So it's impossible to stay uh, in, in the country because no more badminton. Uh, actually, many of the hall destroyed. Uh, so it's impossible to stay inside the country. So we left uh, Ukraine in March. And uh, we stay everywhere in Europe, <laughs> Poland, France. Uh, after we uh, played the uh, Thailand tournament, and uh, we were in Thailand before for practicing also. <laughs> Actually, we have only uh, one way ticket to Asia, so we don't know yet when we will back oh, to we Europe. Stay in Asia yet. Oh, yes. There is no opportunity to practice in Ukraine. Oh, now. So sorry to hear that. Uh, so. Uh, how did you guys maintain your, uh, I don't know, ma mentality and your physical condition in the middle of an uh, unfortunate situation like that? Honestly, it's very difficult to stay focused on your badminton uh, because, you know, at one point, in 24th of February, it's like your life stopped on pause because we had a plan, we had a dream and uh, something for future, but that day when uh, bombing started, it's like I stopped everything and uh, uh, now we try to play, we try to be passionate on the court, but uh, every morning we start from uh, messages to our home, to our relatives who stay in Ukraine, how are you, uh, how was the night, uh, how was the bombing through the, this night, and it's very really difficult to stay positive, yeah, stay and stay focused on your badminton career, when you uh, every day think what to do tomorrow. No, no, it's, <laughs> now it's uh, our main uh, job, I don't know, main uh, dream. Uh, 